I got out of treatment in 1989. I entered treatment, I think, in January, came out just after April. I came back to Gisborne for four and a half years. And then I decided and, and got very involved. I started with a friend of mine, we started the NA group in Gisborne, keeping each other clean, not really, you know, not really having a program because we really had no one to guide us. Um, so we did the best we could and that kept us clean. I think in the beginning, I think he just did it to make it look good for court. And then I think after he'd been there and he actually realised, oh, this is, yeah, shit, I do have a problem. Because at the beginning he was not so, oh, drugs, you know, I don't have a problem with the drugs, da 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 It's, you know, it's, it's not the drugs, it's just how much you use them. And I'm just like, oh, and then near the end it was just like, nah, okay, I do have a problem with drugs. For me today in the last sort of year or so, it's keep it basic. So basic. Go to the basics. Um, if you're in trouble, talk about it. If you've got something going on, talk about it. When I first came into recovery, um, my recovery community was my whole community. Um, today I have other communities, you know, my children are at school, so I have, a, I have a relationship with the parents there and great friendships. And amongst my school community, I've got a work community that I have fantastic, really deep connection with, and some of those people there have been incredibly helpful to me over the years and, and I've got a recovery community. My view is you can't really ever help someone that's more, they can hear advice that works for them, like you can't directly help anyone but you know, I just figure it's best for people to know about experiences from those who've lived them. <laughs> the people from the meetings, I'd only been going for like two weeks and they threw a massive 21st birthday for me and it was, you know, I'll never forget it, you know, it was my 21st and it was a sober 21st with like a hundred people there, it was really, it was really cool, you know, um, and, I, and that left a good feeling with me about those people. My last sponsor I felt when I came back into the rooms, um, and, and that would have only been in 2006, See, I felt that he loved me back to health. And that's what I feel those rooms do. They love people back to health. The love that's generated in that program helps people who have, carries the, the, the hope when they're feeling hopeless, carries the, the, the um, carries the faith when they're feeling faithless.